Wait, how does it go? I can't even remember how does it go. Oh, wait. I don't know. I don't know. I want to have a song with Lady Gaga. I want to write for her. My life is a roller coaster and I can cry in a second and then I can laugh in another. So I'm against the war. I think it's horrible um, and it's heartbreaking. I'm good at making food. Yay. Oh. The last time Bobby and me talked with you, it was four years ago. So tell me, what has changed during this time? I see one thing, hair color. But what else? <laughs> yeah, a lot of things has changed. Um, well, obviously, I, I come up with a new music. And the sound is a bit different. It's still pop. Um, it's a bit different. Obviously, the hair is different. Um, I don't know, the COVID time changed a lot of things in my personal life. Um, but I would say now, healthier, happier and better that's wonderful to hear that's the best thing and in 2020 you released the song home sweet home uh, what for you is home and what makes you feel at home in this world uh well the first thing that i'm thinking is my mom and dad like uh yeah they live super close to me like actually we live on the same road or i have a apartment same road um so yeah just going home and being able to be my like fully my own self, uh, not wearing makeup, just, you know, being myself. I think that's it. And then uh, my mom's cats. Actually, I think home in the recent years have been a quite uh, important topic. First, during the COVID times, we were sitting at our homes and now Ukrainians are losing their homes and finding new ones. And tonight you're performing at Duot Piazzi Marathon, which is a charity for Ukrainians this year. Uh, how do you feel about all that? What has been on your mind and uh, how you felt? Well, of course, it has been a very hard years. And I think, yeah, I think I just obviously I'm against the war. I think it's horrible. Um, and it's heartbreaking. Uh, if, if I can do anything in any way, like I'm doing it. And yeah, I, I just think, yeah, n nothing positive to say about it, obviously. Horrible. And uh, in your latest single, uh, you kind of mentioned loneliness. Are there times when you feel lonely and what do you do with this feeling? Many times when I feel lonely, uh, sometimes even like room full of people, I feel lonely because I feel like I just don't fit in sometimes. I don't know. I try to surround myself with people that, you know, love me as I am with my flaws and everything. Um, and yeah, just try to surround myself with people that like same, same kind of vibe. And on stage, you're quite an energy bomb, I would say, like super powerful and driven. Are you the same uh, in your everyday life or your stage persona differs from your everyday persona? Uh, yeah, I would say it's sometimes even completely different. Some, like when I'm all just home by myself, like I can be, I would say I'm a bit more shy, a bit more, like obviously I have this outgoing, crazy that I am, but yeah, I have so many different, my life is a roller coaster and my personality, personality is like every color, every mood, every, like yeah. Yeah, it's always sometimes hard to be with, around me because I, I can I can cry in a second and then I can laugh in another. So, And recently you went on a little tour around Amsterdam, Berlin, London, your home city. It's been some time, right, since uh, COVID. How it feels to be back on stage and maybe something feels different? Uh, well, I was super nervous because uh, I, yeah, I couldn't even remember what's the feeling to get. I thought that, that I don't even miss touring because it was so long, long time ago or like a couple years. But yeah, it's the best feeling in the world. And I understood that to be able to keep me sane and just like fully be myself, I need to be on the stage. Like I, that's just where I, something comes alive that doesn't come alive anywhere else. Um, so yeah, no more COVID, no more stopping us people. We have to be living this life. And could you say that music and the stage is your safe place? 100%. Um, yeah. What inspires you when you write music? What are the topics uh, that you kind of love to talk about in your music? Well, to be honest, like mainly my family and 
the struggles that we've had as a family, um, my own personal life. Of course, love is a big thing because it's, it's such a big feeling. Can't really, uh, yeah, ex escape from it. Um, but I think a lot of times it's my family, like, and the struggles that we've been through as a family uh, and team. Uh, my mom is like a huge inspiration for me. And then my dad is also like, my mom is like the power woman and my dad is very emotional, which is usually a different way around. Uh, so I think that ha has allowed me to fully like be myself. Like it's okay for a man to show their tears and emotions and it's okay for a woman like my mom to show like they're powerful and stuff like that. So I think they, yeah, for them to be like that, um, it's been very inspirational for me and very freeing. Um, yeah. The next year is a big year for you, album coming out. So what your fans can expect? Well, I think everybody says this, but it's definitely the most personal. Every song is, it's kind of like even too personal. Like I, I, I like there was a couple songs where my whole team was like, we're not sure is it even fine to put these songs out? Like these are, you're sharing a lot, but I feel like I wanted to, the time forced me to make a record about like show everything, like not fake anything. And I think, you know, yeah, I think it's a beautiful album. It's, it's actually very, very hopeful, uh, which is interesting because I wrote it in the most not hopeful time in, in everyone's life. But I think, um, First times, usually I'm always writing like, what's happening right now? How I'm feeling right now? But the time forced me to look back and actually understand why I'm feeling like this and look back, you know, what happened? What did I do wrong? What, what did people do to me? Or what did I do to them? And I think, yeah, it's very personal, um, but light, which is nice, which um, makes, I think I'm, feeling kind of okay. I understood with that album that I'm, I'm feeling better, bit better, yeah. And if we look into the future, I remember in your last interview we had in Bobby Me, you mentioned that uh, if you want something, just fuck it and go for it. So what's a thing that you haven't done yet, but you would love to do it and you will have to do it? Um, oh, there's so many things that I want to do. Um, I want to have a song with Lady Gaga. I want to write for her somehow. Um, yeah, that would be cool. But you know what? I'm not forcing anything. I'm letting myself and the world decide. Let's see. Let's hope. But I think uh, that would be very inspiring for me. Uh, I would uh, take every second into my brain and just, yes, yes, I want to do that. And what's been the craziest thing you have done? Well, I've wrote songs with Miley Cyrus and for Ariana Grande. That's pretty insane. Um, I played Glastonbury, won some cool awards. That's cool. No, to be honest, I think the craziest thing uh, for me is that I, as a teenager who dropped out of school, like I managed to get a bit of money, buy, me, buy myself a house, get my me and my family a better life and yeah just i i didn't I didn't fail in life like i got what i wanted and i think that's insane and i fucking um, i don't know how that happened and i'm very very proud of myself and um uh, i know that i'm lucky like i know i know that i yeah I'm, i know that i'm lucky and i think that's insane yeah that's insane and outside music, what are the things you love to do? Other hobbies or some little small things? Well, I just love to hang out with my family and my friends. And I love, I love cats. That's pretty, uh, I don't know. I, I, I just like to hang out with my mom's cat. Um, I love to swim. I love to cook. Um, and yeah, uh, to be honest, I love conversations with people. Um, a normal human being, but I don't really have like any proper hobbies. I'm good at making food. Yay. What's your best uh, recipe? I like to make sushi. That's, that's pretty proper. I learned that 
uh, from a um, friend's father. He taught me how to do very good sushi. Uh, so that's what I do when I have time. And do you like dancing and rhythms? <laughs> well, I love to dance, but I'm not a great dancer. Um, not at all. But could you teach me one dance move? Okay, I can teach you one dance move. It's part of my... Um, Someone really heard his music video. Mm -hmm. So he goes like, wait, how does it go? I can't even remember how does it go. Oh, wait. Mm, uh, how does it go? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. And it goes like, I don't know why, I don't know why. Do, 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 yeah, that's all of my friends knows that because it's on the in the music video and we dance that every time. If it plays in the uh, if the DJ plays it on the uh, club or somewhere, we always like. It. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we'll know what to learn uh, the next time you come to yes. Latvia and perform. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you and have a great next year and enjoy new album touring and let's see you someday again. Yes. Perfect. Thank you for having me. Woo! Okay. <laughs>